Imagine you're behind the wheel of a car, driving late at night, when suddenly a deer darts across the road. Your heart races, your senses sharpen, and you instinctively swerve to avoid a collision. This intense reaction is triggered by a powerful hormone known as adrenaline, which surges through your body in moments of high stress or excitement. Adrenaline, also called epinephrine in the United States, is produced by the adrenal glands, located directly above your kidneys. These small but mighty glands, each roughly three inches in length, play a crucial role in your body's acute stress response system, often referred to as the fight or flight response. When you encounter a potentially dangerous situation, the hypothalamus in your brain signals the adrenal glands to release adrenaline into your bloodstream. Within seconds, this hormone stimulates your heart rate, contracts blood vessels, and dilates air passages, all of which work to increase blood flow to your muscles and oxygen to your lungs. This rapid response prepares your body to react physically to the threat, whether by fighting or fleeing. The fight or flight response is an evolutionary adaptation that allows us to react swiftly to danger. For instance, dilated air passages allow more oxygen into the lungs, enhancing physical performance for short bursts of time. Blood vessels contract in most of the body, redirecting blood towards the heart, lungs, and major muscle groups, fueling the reaction. In addition to the physical boost, adrenaline typically causes heightened awareness and increased respiration. However, it can also lead to side effects like lightheadedness, dizziness, and changes in vision. These effects can last up to an hour, depending on the situation. Interestingly, when there is stress without actual danger, you might feel restless and irritable. This is because adrenaline raises blood sugar levels, giving your body energy that has no outlet. In the past, physical exertion like fighting or fleeing would naturally burn off this energy. But in modern high-stress situations, which often involve little physical activity, exercise can help use up this extra energy. While adrenaline is vital for survival, prolonged exposure to high levels of this hormone can be detrimental. Chronic stress and sustained high adrenaline levels can put enormous pressure on the heart muscle, potentially leading to heart failure. Additionally, it may cause the hippocampus, the part of the brain involved in memory and learning, to shrink. High adrenaline levels can also lead to insomnia and jittery nerves, often indicating chronic stress. First synthesized in 1904, adrenaline quickly became a critical tool in the medical field. Today it's commonly used to treat anaphylaxis, a severe and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. People with known severe allergies often carry epinephrine auto-injectors for emergencies. In cases of anaphylaxis, adrenaline can be administered quickly to counteract the reaction. Those with severe allergies should have a dosage prescribed by a medical professional and be instructed on how and where to administer it. Adrenaline is also vital in treating low cardiac output and cardiac arrest. It stimulates the heart muscle and increases heart rate, concentrating blood in vital organs like the heart, lungs, and brain, thus improving the chances of recovery. Let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of adrenaline. Picture an athlete gearing up for the final sprint in a race. The roar of the crowd, the pounding of the heart. These are moments when adrenaline surges, providing that extra boost needed for peak performance. Similarly, think about emergency responders, like firefighters or paramedics, rushing to save lives. Their heightened alertness and enhanced physical abilities are often fueled by adrenaline, allowing them to perform under intense pressure. But what exactly is adrenaline on a molecular level? Adrenaline, or epinephrine, is a catecholamine, a type of hormone derived from the amino acid tyrosine. It interacts with alpha and beta receptors in the body, triggering a cascade of physiological responses. Alpha receptors cause blood vessels to constrict, increasing blood pressure, while beta receptors stimulate the heart, increasing heart rate and force of contraction. This intricate interaction ensures that the body can respond swiftly and effectively to any immediate threat. Let's travel back to the early 20th century. It was in 1904 that adrenaline was first synthesized, marking a monumental moment in medical history. This discovery opened the door to numerous life-saving treatments. Today, adrenaline is a cornerstone in emergency medicine, especially in treating conditions like anaphylaxis and cardiac arrest. For individuals with severe allergies, having an epinephrine auto-injector on hand can be a lifesaver. In the event of an anaphylactic reaction, quick administration of adrenaline can counteract the life-threatening symptoms, buying precious time to reach medical help. 
If you or someone you know has severe allergies, it's crucial to understand how to use this device properly. Always follow the instructions provided by a healthcare professional. Adrenaline's role in treating cardiac emergencies is equally vital. In cases of low cardiac output or cardiac arrest, adrenaline helps stimulate the heart, increasing both heart rate and the force of contraction. By concentrating blood flow to essential organs like the heart, lungs, and brain, it enhances the chances of survival and recovery. While adrenaline is a powerful ally in emergencies, chronic stress and sustained high levels of adrenaline can have serious health consequences. In our modern world, many people face ongoing stress from work, relationships, and daily life. This constant state of stress keeps adrenaline levels high, which can lead to heart problems, anxiety, insomnia, and even changes in brain structure. The hippocampus, a critical part of the brain involved in memory and learning, is particularly susceptible to the effects of chronic stress. High levels of adrenaline over long periods can cause the hippocampus to shrink, impairing cognitive function and increasing the risk of mental health issues. It's a stark reminder of the importance of managing stress effectively to protect our brain health. So, how can we manage stress and keep adrenaline levels in check? Regular physical activity is one of the most effective ways to burn off excess adrenaline and reduce stress. Activities like running, swimming, or even a brisk walk can help. Mindfulness practices such as meditation and deep breathing exercises can also calm the mind and body, reducing the impact of stress hormones. Additionally, spending time in nature, connecting with loved ones, and pursuing hobbies can all contribute to a balanced and healthy lifestyle. As we look to the future, Ongoing research continues to explore new medical uses for adrenaline and other stress hormones. Scientists are investigating how these hormones can be harnessed to develop treatments for various conditions, from heart disease to mental health disorders. The potential applications are vast, promising exciting advancements in medicine and healthcare. Adrenaline is a remarkable hormone, integral to our survival and medical treatments. Its ability to prepare the body for rapid action has evolved to help us face immediate threats. But in today's world, it's crucial to manage stress to avoid its harmful effects. Understanding how adrenaline works can help us better navigate the challenges and stresses of modern life. Thank you for watching. If you found this video fascinating, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment with your thoughts or experiences, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the amazing functions of the human body and mind.